We've come to the middle of nowhere with uh, our car full, and we've got Peter, and we've come to the city of Troy. Amazing. And if we come back, we have this wonderful view. There we are. Across the Hawardian Hills. It's just fantastic. It was a bit crowded when we got here because there was somebody else. But we chased them away. But we've chased them away now. I wish I had a camera. Well, I'd take a picture of you taking a picture of Peter taking a picture of Peter's the just got up on the on the side now and he's just filming this maze and this is a very, right, that's probably very to quiet moment actually we're, we're having there. Well, um, there's going to be some measurements taken and we're just in breathless anticipation now as to what Peter's going to do next. He's checking right. his his picture, he's going to jump down. Oh, yeah, we're we're oh you've got to measure. You've got to measure it, now, yeah. now Peter's uh, going to measure the maze. Uh, do you need somebody to hold the other end of the tape measure, I'll Peter? I'll two sections, I think. My measure's not long enough. Okay. Um, I've got your notebook. Yeah, I've rushed off these papers, all right. Right, so that is... Ooh. Just well, tell us the total measurements on the plaque somewhere. That's 114. 114 inches. Uh, mm -hmm. Were these mazes actually measured in inches, Peter? Well, I'm assuming they'll be. I'm assuming yes. It'd be more likely to use inches than meters because it'd be pre-revolutionary. Yes. Ten feet, isn't it? Ten feet to there. There, well, there, there, back a bit, back a bit. There, that's it. Uh, that's another 120. Okay, thank you. Let go. That's now, now Liz has actually started to walk along the actual path, there. and um, what's happening here is that uh, the measuring is getting in the way of Liz right, being able to walk it. around. Okay, thank you. And uh, so you hold that there. That's a there. there. Well, and we're nearly there. holding the end of the tape. Um, Can I just ask you, so tell us, tell us about this maze, Peter. Well, it probably represents um, the pilgrimage to Jerusalem is one possible theory. Um, if you couldn't afford to go to Jerusalem because it was too far, you would instead perhaps do it on your knees every day for a year. It might be equivalent to and doing the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Do you know how far it is from here to Jerusalem? Not offhand. I have to look it up. Okay. What's the maze called? Is well, they all nearly all seem to be called Troy Town. Um, it seems to be a very popular name for for mazes. So it's not how far it is to Greece, then. No, no, no. it's not that either. How odd. And um, nothing about the Minotaur either, which is the other popular theme one gets with oh. mazes. What oh, marvellous! And now we're going to walk through the maze. Off you go. Right. Are you coming, Martin? Oh yes, oh. after a suitable interval. Oh, okay. So I've, I've got nothing to uh, compare it with. Thank you. We approach you, <laughs> and then we leave you again. <laughs> How far is it to Jerusalem, probably? Hello. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> we nice made it. No, I'm just going to... I don't know why you walked all that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us about the devil. Well, as you must no doubt be aware, the devil can only travel in a straight line. I didn't know that. Oh, yes, because that's the reason, after all, why uh, rifles uh, have rifling in their barrels, because the devil, when he sits on your bullet, if he has, possibly can, he'll make it go astray, it won't hit the target. So if you put a spin on the bullet, that shakes the devil off, and that's why your bullet travels <laughs> in a straight line. It's also the reason why uh, churches tend to have a north porch and a south porch opposite to each other, 
so that if, the, inadvertently, the devil does manage to get into the church through one porch, he's got no choice but to go out through the opposite porch. What has all that got to do with mazes, you might ask? Well, it's very simple. If you're possessed by the devil, what you do is you, walk, you go to the centre of the maze In a straight and, line. Follow the, and follow the path out of the maze, and the devil gets left behind because he can't keep up with you. <laughs> Isn't that useful? Yes. Thank you. We useful. should bear that one in mind. Yes. I think there should be more of these. <laughs>